everybody, Melissa here from Valley Kids Children's Ministry here to talk to you today about the powerful influence of you. So in order to do this, I have a few materials that you're going to need for your experiment. One, you'll need a plate, something that's sturdy and that can hold some liquid will definitely be important. Two, you'll need that liquid. I have whole milk right here. It needs to be milk and the closer to whole it is, the better. I also put it in a measuring cup so it's easier to pour onto your plate. Next, you'll need some food coloring. That's why I'm wearing gloves because you never know what can happen with food coloring. The more colors, the more fun. I have four colors right here. You'll need some Q-tips. One is fine, but if you're doing this experiment with a friend, you might want a Q-tip for each of you. And finally, you'll need some soap. So, how powerful can your influence be in your world? Let's show how that can be. Speaking of world, the milk that you have is going to represent your world. Now, your world could be just the people you hang out with. Like right now, if you're staying at home with your family, that's your world. Or it could be the people you spend the most time with, sports friends or your community if you live in Ryersford or Limerick, your state. Or we could just think of this as our world. So I'm going to pour the milk in the plate so much that it covers the plate, but it doesn't overflow. And I think you can see my plate in this view. That will be really important. Now, once you pour your milk in your plate, make sure that you don't touch it. Keep it as still as possible in order to show this experiment. Next, you can't have a world without people. The food coloring are your people. So take your food coloring, which represents your people. Whoop, there we go, upside down. And you're going to put those people in your world. Maybe I use red to represent my family because I love my family. Maybe I use green to represent uh, athletes or sports fans because I'm an athlete and I love to play sports. Maybe I use blue to represent my friends because I love the color blue and I love my friends. And finally, I'll use yellow to represent my church community, my church world, because that's really important to me too. Now, you notice that we have our world and besides the colors of people, it's pretty plain. It's pretty similar. How can we, by the influence of one, brighten our world up? That's where you come in. You are the cotton swab or the Q-tip. And you have a really powerful influence on your world when you choose to be kind. The kindness is represented by our soap in our experiment. Just to make it easier, I'm going to put some of that soap inside of a dish so I can dip my Q-tip or my cotton swab in it. But let's talk a little bit about kindness. The Bible has a lot to say about kindness. In fact, as followers of Jesus, we're called to be kind. The Bible tells us to clothe ourselves in kindness, to be kind and compassionate. The fruit of the Spirit, which are the attributes that we represent after we follow Jesus, include kindness, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Even the golden rule, which is stated in the book of Matthew, says treat others the way you want to be treated. So what does kindness mean? It means doing acts of service and showing love to the people in your world. For example, making your bed, washing the dishes, sending an encouraging note, dropping off cookies for a friend. There are so many ways to be kind. Now, what happens when you, the Q-tip or the cotton swab, mix with soap representing kind things that you do? Do a kind thing for one person. Let's check it out. I take soap in my cotton swab, I dip it onto a color and watch. Boom. Look at that ripple effect. It totally spread out. And here's the cool thing. I know you can't see it close up, but I bet you can see it in yours when you try it. It's continuously moving. I do it again to a different color, a different person, and boom, it moves again. And again, and again. 
Maybe you have an extra Q-tip or a cotton swab, you add that soap in and you continue to influence. What happens when we choose to act kindly? It adds a lot of color in our world. And the cool thing is, is that it's a ripple effect. One person's affected and that person's color spreads to another and another and so on. You could probably sit here all day and come up with different designs or ways that the soap can spread the kindness. But here's another really cool point. Look at the color of the world that you started with and the color of the world that you now have. It's way more vibrant, which is exactly the truth. When we choose to act kindly, it's contagious. And it adds a whole lot of color, not only to our world, but to everyone. So choose to be kind. Choose, as we say in Matthew, to do unto others as you'd wish you would be done to you. If you like this experiment, you can check out more at our YouTube channel on CCV Valley Kids. We would love for you to share about the kindness and the power that you have when you influence your world. Be kind.